hey, it's Monica the Hiking Chick, and today it's one week until I leave for the PCT. So um, today I'm out on one of my last few training hikes. Uh, loaded the pack up with a few extra pounds. I've been increasing the weight every week and gradually increasing the distance and the weight. Um, and I'm feeling really good. So that's exciting. Um, I'm almost <laughs> afraid to make a video today. Just don't want to jinx it uh, after, you know, my last couple of years uh, trying to get out on the trail. So. Anyways, today I'm on the Point Bouchon Trail at Montaña de Oro State Park. It's gorgeous, and um, I think we're going to see some poppies. For those of you that are new to my channel, um, I was going to do the PCT back in 2021, and I don't know, less than two weeks before my start date, um, I had gotten overtrained and pulled an Achilles tendon and uh, couldn't go. So, um, and then last year, my father had passed away right before I was going to go do a section. Uh, I was going to try and do section A. And um, so it's just been a long haul. Like many people, you know, their journey to get on the trail sometimes is a little rocky. Uh, but I've been doing something a little different um, with my training because of that. Um, really forcing myself to just go slower and hike slower, um, particularly on the uphills as that really has been saving my calves and it's really working. And so I'm feeling really good. This is such a beautiful trail and there's um, been a ton of poppies blooming out here so um, hopefully since we finally have a sunny day uh, here in California that um, we'll get to see some uh, but anyways my goal and my plan for this year on the trail is um, my permit is good for all of Southern California um, however you know given the crazy winter, the never-ending winter that would not die, um, that we're having in the state. My goal and my plan is to hike the first 150 miles. And so that's what I'm prepared to do. And my husband, luckily, he's able to come down, take me down to the trail. We have a camper van and he'll be kind of sagging me the uh, first week or so to make sure I don't have any big issues with my calves, um, you know, pack, everything. So it's a luxury, I know, um, but I'm really excited and I think it's gonna be really great to have that support as I get started. So let's talk gear for a second. Um, pretty much, you know, had everything ready in 2021, so I really haven't made any changes. Um, I figured I just, you know, I've got to start with what I have, and um, I'm not ultralight by any means. Um, some of you might be able to tell I'm hiking with the uh, Osprey Aura uh, AG backpack, and uh, took the brain off, so it's. Uh, lessens the weight a little bit and um, the capacity and um, you know I'm going as light as I can with the gear I have um, and given the temperatures you know I've got a few extra things I'm bringing just in case I need to switch out for warmth um, since the you know, the weather's been super unpredictable so it's looking like uh, we're gonna have some good weather though so 
we'll see. But anyways, I have a bunch of gear videos in on my channel, and there's a playlist for PCT prep. So if you're really interested to kind of see where my head's at with gear, you can go back and check those out. And just to head off any comments about the backpack, uh, I know how much it weighs, and for those that say, oh, that's too heavy, um, you know, I've tried the ULA circuit, I tried the um, Gossamer Gear Mariposa, I tried the REI Flash, and I tried the, um, gosh, there's one more, oh, the Osprey Asia, and I love the Asia, I wanted that pack so bad. But the frame, the lower edge of the frame hits me right in the glutes and it's going to rub and it's just a no-go. This pack is so stinking comfortable and you know I have some issues with past surgeries um, from the breast cancer and the straps, it's really important for the, for the straps to fit me just right and also to make sure I can really carry the weight on my hips. And, nothing compared to this pack. Um, now, if I end up really loving this through hiking thing and want to, you know, really dive in and do, continue doing sections, then my quest to find a lighter pack and get lighter is going to continue because I know um, it's way more comfortable to hike with less weight and easier on the body. So anyways, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Well, it looks like the poppies are not quite open yet. Maybe on the way back. So this is called Windy Point. It's usually blowing a gale out here. But you can see the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant down there. Let me see if I can zoom in. As far as vlogging goes, I'm um, planning on taking plenty of video. However, I'm not sure. I'll probably upload and edit those after I get done. But we'll see. Who knows? I'm going to play that by ear. The lupin is looking so pretty. Really praying for some nice wildflowers on the PCT. Well, I'm just about at the turnaround point down here. I'm gonna stop and take a little break. It's about four miles, I don't know, 3.7 miles, probably out three three quarters. And um, so that'll be you know close to an eight-mile hike. I added, like I said, I added weight to my pack today. So typically when I add weight, the first hike I do in the increased weight I usually back off on difficulty whether that be elevation or distance so this this doesn't have a lot of elevation gain or loss so um, you know I plan to start out on the trail at, like just I'm thinking eight miles a day and get into um, Lake Marina on day three so I'm just gonna take it really slow and Take care of my body and see how I do. So this trail is actually on PG&E property. They run the um, the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant down there, so they they let you have access, but only this far because they don't want you too close to the power plant. And. This is where I turn around after my break here. This nice little bench. Back at Windy Point. It's a little windier now. But there's our poppy field. So we're just getting to the spot where there's a bunch of poppies on the way back. So I wanted to show you that. But anyways, I'm about nine days out from my start. And this is one of my last training hikes. I'm going to give myself a few days off. Maybe five days off before. Um, just completely rest up and uh, then I'll be on the PCT. My videos, like I said, will be a little delayed, um, but if you're interested to see how my journey goes on this section hike, 
of the Pacific Crest Trail. Uh, just stay tuned and I'll be posting uh, when I get back. So um, anyways, thanks for watching and see you on the PCT. Stay tuned for some uh, poppy footage coming up here. Cue the poppy footage. So many people out here.